Thank you for choosing the iSpring reverse osmosis system and water filters. With proper filter replacement procedures, the water filtration system will provide you with clean and refreshing drinking water for years to come. Please follow the instructions in the video for filter replacement procedures. Each filter has its own service life. It is essential to replace filters on schedule to maintain the refreshing taste of the water. Before we begin, please make sure you have all the tools ready. Shut off the tank valve. Shut off the water inlet from the feed water adapter. Unplug the power if you have a pump system or UV filter. Turn on the drinking faucet to release pressure inside the system. Filter Replacement Pre-Filters Filters posted in front of the reverse osmosis membrane are called pre-filters. We recommend performing a pre-filter wash every time you install or replace pre-filters to prolong the RO membrane service life and maximize the system performance. To replace them, Step 1. Turn the housing clockwise to loosen and remove the pre-filter housings. Use the housing wrench if needed. Take out and dispose of all expired filters. Step 2. Unwrap the new filters. Insert the filters back into their housings with the proper order and ensure the housing O-rings are properly seated to prevent leaks. Step 3. Twist the housings counterclockwise onto the housing caps. Use the housing wrench. Tighten the housing with another quarter to half of a turn. Do not over-tighten as this can cause leaks and make future filter replacements difficult. Step 4. Remove the locking clip and remove the red tubing from the pre-filter water outlet. Remove the black tubing from the flow restrictor. Step 5. Insert the black tubing from the drain saddle to the pre-filter water outlet fitting. Ensure all tubing is inserted half an inch deep into the fittings to prevent leaks. Step 6. Turn on the feed water valve. Let the water fill and flush the pre-filters for at least 5 minutes. Check and make sure that no leaks occur. Step 7. Shut off the feed water valve. Remove the black tubing from the pre-filter water outlet and insert it back to the flow restrictor. Step 8. Insert the red tubing back to the pre-filter water outlet. Lock the tubing in place by inserting the locking clip. The pre-filter wash is now complete. If you are only replacing the pre-filters, you are all set. Please turn on the feed water valve and tank valve. Your system should be operating normally. If you are replacing more than just the pre-filters, please keep the feed water valve and the tank valve in the off position and continue watching this video. Filter Replacement RO Membrane the RO membrane is the heart of an RO system and helps remove up to 99% of over 1,000 water contaminants. It usually lasts about 2-3 to three years, depending on your source water quality. To replace it, Step 1. Disconnect the push connect fitting on the membrane housing cap. Unscrew the cap by turning it counterclockwise using the housing wrench. Step 2. Take out and dispose of the expired membrane using a screwdriver or pliers. Step 3. Unwrap and insert the membrane into the housing. Make sure the membrane is seated flush with the housing. Step 4. Check that the membrane housing o-ring and housing cap o-ring are seated properly. Screw the cap back onto the housing. Use the housing wrench to tighten the cap with another quarter to half turn of the wrench. Do not over tighten as this can cause leaks and make future filter replacements difficult. Step 5. Connect the push fitting back to the membrane housing cap. Please note that if you are replacing only the RO membrane, turn on the feed water valve and the water will start to trickle within a few minutes. Let the water trickle for at least 15 minutes to flush the membrane. When the membrane flush is complete, turn on the tank valve. Your system should be operating normally. If you are replacing more filters, please keep the feed water valve and the tank valve in the off position and continue watching this video. Filter Replacement – Post and Add-on Filters Different post and add-on filters serve different purposes. 
A post-carbon filter is used to remove chlorine, odor, and taste. An alkaline filter is used to add back minerals, boost pH level, and improve the taste. A deionization filter uses resin ion exchange to minimize TDS level in the RO water. To replace them, step one, disconnect the push connect fitting from the inlet and the outlet of the expired filter. Remove and dispose of the expired filter. Step two, match the water flow direction with the filter label and install the new filter back to the housing clamps. Step three, Insert water inlet and outlet push connect fitting to the new filter. After replacing the filter, turn on the feed water valve and the water will start to trickle within a few minutes. Let the water trickle for at least 5 minutes to flush the filter. When the flush is complete, turn on the tank valve. Your system should be operating normally. Filter Replacement UV Filter Light Bulb a UV filter is commonly used on well water settings to ensure the safety of your drinking water. To replace the light bulb of the UV filter, please unplug the power, shut off the water inlet from the feed water adapter, shut off the tank valve, turn on the drinking faucet to release pressure inside the system before we proceed. To replace the light bulb, Step 1. Remove the black rubber cap from the end of the UV filter and slowly pull out the UV light bulb with caution. Step 2. Remove the bulb from the power socket on both ends. Dispose of the expired bulb and follow your city's disposal code. Step 3. Plug both ends of the new UV bulb into the power sockets of the green wires. Step 4. Insert the new bulb back to the cord sleeve and attach the black rubber cap to the end. Step 5. Make sure the area around the system is dry. Plug the power back in. Step 6. Turn on the feed water valve, shut off the drinking faucet and turn on the tank valve. Congratulations! Your iSpring reverse osmosis system filter replacement is now complete. Please refer to the user manual or contact us directly if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.